Thing. Order! Order! You are an incorrigible delinquent at times. <laughs> Behave yourself, man! The Court of Appeal has ruled that the government surveillance regime could be unlawful. The court said that by collection, the nation's internet activity and phone records, the government was breaking the law. Well, the challenge was brought by MP Tom Watson, who has been represented by civil liberties organisation Liberty. We're joining us now from central London is our technology correspondent Tom Cheshire. Uh, what was said in court, Tom? Well, this refers to, as you mentioned, the collection of emails. So the idea of, if you think back all the way to the Snowden revelations, the idea that agencies and police are hoovering up all sorts of personal information, whether it's emails, uh, phone numbers, things like that. A piece of legislation uh, called the Data Retention and Vestry Powers Act was introduced in 2014 to put it on a legal footing, to make sure it was all above board. Now, what happened is that MPs, as soon as that was introduced, brought a legal challenge. So Tom Watson, MP, as you mentioned, Deputy Leader of the Labour Party, but also David Davis, who's now the Brexit Secretary. He was one of the people who originally brought that as a backbench MP. He since removed himself uh, from the case because he didn't want to be a minister suing his own government. That's a bit awkward. The judgment today says that the collection itself isn't unlawful necessarily. What is unlawful is the access to it for purposes which are beyond serious crime. So security services, uh, police forces argue they need access to this for serious crime. In some cases, it could be accessed without that, and that's why it doesn't comply with EU law, according to the Court of Appeal, and that's why it's unlawful. Now, what actually happened with this law is that it expired at the end of 2016, and it was replaced last year by a new piece of legislation, the Investigatory Powers Act, which mirrors a lot of the same sort of things. But the government argues that the Investigatory Powers Act has a lot more safeguards built into it than this uh, legislation that has been found unlawful, which no longer applies. But critics say, actually, it has some of the still the same problems, especially with regards to privacy, and it doesn't comply with EU law. So there are also cases against the current piece of legislation. But this is certainly a blow for the government, hoping to make sure that this new law is um, worth and working in the courts, because this is a precedent that when they do come to look at the new law that's happening, they'll say, well, actually, that's unlawful. Has enough been done in the meantime to make the new Investigative Powers Act lawful? Um, and that's what judges are going to be looking at next. It's going to go to the High Court quite soon, uh, before the end of the year. OK, Tom, thank you.